Hey, you can talk. Join our volleyball club. Our team could definitely use your physical skills and height. Please. Yeah, why do you not join any club? You're wasting your talent. I want to be available after school for you know what. That's why I don't join any club at school. I'm Yukitaka Sakurai, a junior in high school. I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty popular in my class. I'm athletic, have a lot of friends, and have good communication skills. I get along well with everyone in my class, except one girl. Her name is Miyu Agatsuma. She transferred to my school a month ago and sits next to me. She's a typical introvert and has already become the odd one out. Our classmates tried talking to her at first, but... Nice to meet you, Miu. Ah, oh, yes. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. <laughs> You're being too formal. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to apologize. Just take it easy, okay? Uh, I'll try. Excuse me! Huh? Miu? Miu? Wow, she's so fast! Miu seemed to have a hard time communicating with others, which confused our classmates. That brings us to now. I was looking for a way to start a conversation with Miu. What? What? Look at that! That's a pen featuring the popular late night anime, The Magic Family, and it's a limited edition. I love that anime too. I may not look like it, but I'm an otaku. Maybe Miu is one of us. I was convinced that Miu was a fellow anime lover. I quickly wrote a message on a piece of paper and handed it to her. I figured she'd at least read a note from me and wouldn't run away during class. Hey, you have a pen with the Magic Family theme, right? I love that anime too. Who's your favorite? What? Surprisingly, Miu wrote a reply and handed it to me. During class, we talked about our favorite characters and great things about the anime by passing notes back and forth. During break time, I talked to her in person. Miu, you have a lot to talk about, huh? What? Um... Excuse me! Huh? Why do you run away? It looked like Miu was shyer than I expected. But Miu would talk to me in notes, so I kept passing notes to her in class. You didn't have to run away, lol. What happened? I'm sorry. I don't know how to communicate with people. What do you mean? Are you like that manga character Komi that struggles with communication? Mia told me she had to keep changing schools due to her parents' work. Because of that and her shy personality, she never made friends. She also told me she gets nervous around her classmates and runs away from them because she doesn't know how to communicate with them. I felt like Miu wanted my help. I want to make friends and break my habit of running away, but I don't know where to start. How about you start by talking to me? Are you free after school today? Hmm? That day after school, I took Miu out to a cafe. How come you're nice to me, Yukitaka? Oh, you finally asked me a question first. Great. I wasn't trying to be extra nice to you or anything. I don't think it's anything special about wanting to become friends with classmates. For me, it's uncommon. I think you're too nice to me. Oh, yeah? You're making me blush. Anyway, what you think is normal may not be the same for others, and that's okay. Wow, I never thought that way. I thought everyone had to be the same way. I ran away from others because I couldn't do the same as everyone else. It never occurred to me that it was okay to have a different idea of what's normal. I feel a little bit better. Oh, she's smiling. This is awesome! While sipping our drinks, Mia and I talked about our favorite characters, the best scenes, and our predictions about what would happen in our favorite anime. I guess it's easier to talk to someone who shares the same interests. Mia seemed to be opening up to me more and more. An hour passed as we talked nonstop. We felt bad for staying for so long with only one drink each, so we ordered a dessert. I can feel the sugar all over me. That looks delicious. You sure know what's good, Yukitaka. What? This is the first time I've seen her face. She's so pretty. I mean, her skin looks so smooth. Miu has potential. I don't join any club at school because I'm a cosplayer and in charge of makeup in a cosplay group outside the school. 
I was intrigued by Mia, who seemed to be perfect for cosplay. Hmm? What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I don't think she'll agree to cosplay with me, even if I ask. Hey, would you join me for my otaku activity for a bit? Sure. I've never joined in otaku activities before, so I'm glad you asked. She's so pretty! I didn't explain details about my otaku activity, and Miyu didn't ask me either. I felt bad for not mentioning anything about cosplay, but we left the cafe. We came to an apartment building where our cosplay group meets. Is this where you live, Yukitaka? No. I spend as much time here as I do at home, though. Huh? As I rang the doorbell... Yuki! You're late today! Uh, what? Uh, um... She's a Gyaru! Her energy is dazzling! Hmm... Who's this girl? She's a transfer student and an otaku friend of mine, and... No need to explain everything. Yuki, you brought the best looking girl ever. She's so pretty. I love pretty girls. Huh? Huh? I'm Meru Ayase, a cosplayer and a costume designer. Nice to meet you. Hmm? Um, I'm Miyu Agatsuma. Did you say a costume designer? This is my otaku activity, the cosplay group. Cosplay? Wait a minute. Did you mean cosplay when you said your otaku activity? Hold on. Am I cosplaying too? Our group has people of all ages, from students to working adults. We meet after school or after work and have fun together. You don't have to feel intimidated at all. You have nice skin, a pretty face, and great looks, so you'll be just fine. I can tell. What? Don't make her feel shy. I didn't mean to. I was complimenting her. Anyway, Miu, you should at least try once. I convinced Miyu to let me do her makeup, and Meru got excited and helped me find the right costume for her. <gasps> Is this me? Miyu, this costume looks great on you. So pretty. Awesome. I knew I was right. It'd be a shame not to share a pretty girl like you with the world. Miyu, would you join us for the next cosplay event? Oh, I want you to join us, Miyu. Um, I feel shy. But if you say so, I guess I'll try. Yeah. yeah! After that, we met at the apartment every day after school to prepare for the event. On the day of the event. Miu, you look so sexy. You have a great body pulling off that costume. I think I've created the best cosplayer. Partly thanks to my costume design. I know, partner. <laughs> I'm still feeling shy, but I'm happy you like it. This is fun! We had a blast at the event. We took a lot of pictures, and had our pictures taken too! You're so beautiful! You cosplayed the character so well! I'm your fan! Oh, thank you so much! Miu's face lit up. Miu was especially popular. The event was a big success, and we returned to the apartment. Miu, you were super popular. Thanks, Meru. I felt weird. It was the first time I talked to so many people. Are you tired? I am, but I had a lot of fun. I'm a little more confident now. Thank you for taking me out. No problem. Hey, can I make one suggestion? Hmm? Huh? On Monday, after the event. Good morning. What? Miu, you got your bangs cut! You look so cute! I love your new look! Uh, thank you. Which salon did you go to? Yeah, where is it? They did a great job! Um, it's a secret. A secret? Now we need to know even more! Miu, would you let me cut your bangs? What? Your smile is too beautiful not to show it. I asked Miu to let me cut her bangs. I did it! Miyu says she's more confident about herself. She seems to be making her friends, which was her main goal. By the way, I saw your cosplay. What? How did you know that? You and Yuki look so cool! Miyu, I didn't tell you earlier, but I told our classmates about our after-school cosplay activity. I asked them not to poke fun at us and just to be supportive until the event was over. 
Everyone was curious after finding out that you were gonna cosplay Miu. I... I didn't know that. Whoa. Don't be shy. Your picture on social media went viral. It's incredible. Oh, gosh. Anyways, you have a great body. You look like a model. Um, you're not gonna be weirded out that I'm an otaku. Why would I? We're used to otaku, thanks to Yuki. I have nothing but respect for you. Phew, I'm glad to hear that. From that day forward, Miyu began to communicate with her classmates without running away from them. I assumed she wouldn't need my help anymore. But, to my surprise, Miyu continued to come to our cosplay group even after the event. Um, Meru, do you have a boyfriend? Oh, girl talk? I didn't see that coming from you, Miyu. I do have a boyfriend. I see. Um, how do you start a relationship? What's going on? Um, actually... Oh, I see. Yuki is such a nice guy. What? But Yuki is a bit slow when it comes to himself. Why don't you ask him out on a date first? How? I was relieved that Miyu seemed comfortable talking to members of our group. The next day after school, you rarely ask me to walk home together, Miyu. I wanted to thank you, Yukitaka. Now I have friends and enjoy my school life. It's all thanks to you. I wanted to be friends with all my classmates, but I didn't have a chance to do that with you, so? It's only been a month since I moved here, so I don't know much about this town. I'd love to explore and... All right, let me take you to the best spot in town. I took Miyu to the hill where we could see the sunset. It's beautiful. Right? This is the perfect spot in town. You can even overlook the whole town. You're amazing, Yukitaka. You bring so many beautiful things into my life. I've never enjoyed my school life this much. I was interested in cosplay, but I always thought it was a whole different world than mine. Well, you changed that on your own. I knew you had potential. My heart skipped a beat as I looked at her smile illuminated by the sunset. I took a deep breath to try to calm myself down. You helped me change for the better, Yukitaka. I... I like you! Miu. Your kindness and attentiveness to everyone, and your serious look when you put makeup on others, and... You're making me blush. You can stop complimenting me. I won't! The Master says I should tell you everything I love about you. Wait, the Master? Anyway... I like everything about you. Thank you for thinking of me like that. When I saw you with your friends in school, I thought I was lucky to find you first. I like you, Miu. After that, Miu officially joined the cosplay group and became a cosplayer. I was surprised to find myself feeling jealous of her male fans. Let's take a fan service picture, like this. <gasps> your face is red, Miu. Well, whose fault is it? Miu and I have only been together for a short time, but I can't help dreaming that our happy times will last forever. <laughs>